Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back into the video today. And breaking news in the NFL, the Baltimore Ravens are signing wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr. to a one-year deal and a massive, huge signing for the Ravens. And just so many questions to answer for this team. There were there were multiple questions to answer for this football team and for the squad before this signing happened. Who's going to play quarterback? Where's Lamar Jackson going to go? Where is his trade request going? Where, where is his trade request going to take him? And now you have Odell Beckham Jr. going to the Baltimore Ravens. Does this change anything for the for Lamar Jackson? That's something I think is going to be the biggest thing to talk about over the next couple of days is now that OBJ is signed with the Baltimore Ravens, what's going to happen with Lamar Jackson? What is what what is, what is going to happen? I mean, is he going to still want to, you know, have a trade? Does he still want to go to somewhere like like his really only options are Indianapolis, um, New England, and there's one more team that is interested in him. I can't remember who it was that was interested. There was another team that was interested, but I can't. The Falcons, I believe. But they're, I don't think they're really that into trading for Jackson. So you got three teams who are sort of interested in Lamar. Now you got OBJ. It, it just, I think one of the biggest things it's going to be talking about is where, um, what happens with Lamar now? And OBJ, he's a great wide receiver, but I don't think that's that's not that's that's not all you have to do to make you know Lamar successful in Baltimore. Like I think Lamar is an incredible quarterback. I think he's one of the most underrated quarterbacks in the league. He's a great running quarterback. He has a great arm, very underrated arm. As a new wide receiver in OBJ, but to be honest, we don't know how OBJ is going to look going coming back in from that ACL injury. I think he will be a massive wide receiver and a huge, I think he'll have a huge season next season, no matter who's throwing him the football. But the question is, is is that enough for Lamar? Um, I do believe you will have to add in a couple other wide receivers in the draft, or maybe other one, maybe one. You got Bateman at the third wide receiver, and then you add in a second wide receiver in at in the draft at some point, whether it's round two or round one. And then you got Lamar throwing the ball to OPJ, some some wide receiver drafted, and Rashad Bateman. Is that enough? And Mark Andrews, and then possibly some decent running backs. So is that enough for Lamar Jackson to want to stay with the Ravens with a great head coach, um, decent wide receivers with OBJ, Mark Andrews, good running backs, a decent, pretty decent defense as well? Is that enough for Lamar Jackson to want to stay? That's going to be the big question. But great signing for the Ravens signing OBJ. Um, maybe this is something Lamar said, you know, if you bring in OBJ, you do some other stuff, I will, I'm willing to stay. Um, so we'll see what happens with Lamar Jackson. You guys have your thoughts on the signing. This, this has to hurt for Jets, for the Jets. They obviously still have great wide receivers alongside possibly Aaron Rodgers once that, that's the only, I mean, we were waiting for two big things to happen. Uh, in the NFL, OBJ signing somewhere and Aaron Rodgers trade to happen. We're still waiting on the Aaron trade, but with Aaron probably coming in to the New York Jets, he still has great wide receivers with um, Al Lazard and Garrett Wilson and McCole Hardman and Corey Davis and really good running backs in Brees Hall and Michael Carter, decent tight ends with CJ Musa and uh, I can't remember the other tight end. So Rodgers already has good weapons in the, with the Jets. But that would have been another additional weapon for the New York Jets. But I don't think it really hurts them that he's not going to be going there. It would have just made things a lot better for the New York Jets. But, yeah. Um, but for the Ravens, this is a good signing. We'll see what happens with Lamar Jackson. You guys have more thoughts. That's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And peace out.